Uh, well, he pays the bill and I manage the account. <laughs> he takes the pictures and I eat. <laughs> the Halal Food Podcast, brought to you by Halal Run, the number one guide to halal eating options in the US, Canada, and the UK. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, and welcome to the Halal Food Podcast by Halal Run, the number one guide to halal eating options in the US, Canada, and the UK. On this podcast, we feature inspiring and accomplished Muslims from all backgrounds and all fields, and we talk to them about their lives and the halal restaurants where they love to eat. Today's episode features the couple, Menaz and Aman Sharifi, behind the blog NJ Grub on Instagram. They feature food spots in the New York and New Jersey area. And as someone from the area, I can tell you their picks are always spot on. So without further delay, we'll jump to the interview. And if you like what you hear, make sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment saying hi. And we are here live with Aman and Menaz Sharifi, who blog on Instagram under the handle NJ Grub. Aman and uh, Minaz, assalamu alaikum, and thank you so much for joining the Halal Food Podcast. Waalaikum salam. Waalaikum salam. Thank you for having us. So let's let's jump right into it. How did the two of you, uh, a married couple, uh, decide to get into uh, being, you know, these these top uh, New Jersey food bloggers? Well, we got in after we got engaged. Uh, we were so we have a mutual friend, NYC Foodster, who also a halal food blogger. He took us out one of his um, invites, and then we've always been foodies, both of us, always going out, um, especially to halal spots. So we decided, hey, let's just start a table for fun. And and when was this? 2019. Okay, so a few years ago. And that's around the time you got married as well. Correct. Great. Um, and uh, what's it like being a married couple that blogs together under one account like how what's the division of labor like between the two of you uh well he pays the bill and i manage the accounts <laughs> he takes the pictures and i <laughs> no but i think a big thing for us was you know when when we first met and we were going out um to restaurants we both you know had a huge interest in food you know you, you go out with other people and friends who, you know, they don't really care where they eat, but it was very, we were always very into, you know, the, the places we went. They always wanted to go to, you know, the, the places where, you know, the top places or the places where there was something on the menu that we wanted to eat specifically or try specifically. So it just, you know, we both had an interest in food and we both loved our food and we both loved cooking and, you know, trying different foods. So I think that's kind of where it just you know, we, we always took the pictures of our food, so it was just natural that it progressed to, um, you know, a page. Yeah. Great. So uh, what part of New Jersey do you live in, and how long have you both been living there? So we live in, currently we live in Union, which is, uh, you know, close to Newark Airport, most people would know. Um, and we've been here since... 2020. 2020. We actually moved into this house the day before the world shut down. <laughs> wow. Uh, where were you before? So I, we both lived with our parents, so I was in Freehold. And I was from Fort Lee. Okay, so you're both like born and bred New Jerseyites. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, okay. So you must know the New Jersey food scene really well, which I'm a big fan of because I spend a lot of time there as well. Um, so, you know, our audience loves to hear uh, recommendations from uh from you know sophisticated bloggers like yourself so why don't we jump into it i i understand you have you know a list of your top picks of what is it the top date spots with halal food in in new york new jersey area oh right for ours it was a uh, fancy uh indian cuisine their butter chicken is amazing their chaat is amazing so they're specifically an eggplant chaat there that I tell everyone, you have to go there and you have to try that. That's that's my favorite dish there. It's I don't know how they do that with eggplant, but it's it's great. I'm allergic to eggplant and I and I eat it. <laughs> um, and also one of the best biryani I ever had, and, and so it was like 
um, delicious and also nice fancy date spot. Um, second on our list is Al Basha. So they have two locations and their newer one is upscale and um, like new to the game. Um, so again, classic Al Basha. If anyone's from um, North Jersey, they know best hummus in the world. The third on our list is um, Hilda Herat. Where is it in Bridgewater? Uh, it's in- it is in Bridgewater. It, I can get it. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's in uh, Martinsville, actually. It's right on the border of Bridgewater, but essentially Bridgewater. That's the town everyone knows. And uh, what I really like about that place is um, it's an Afghan cuisine. Um, uh, the owner is so nice. Like This is like one of the few restaurants I've been to where the owner comes up to you, introduces themselves, get to know you, and he even remembers us. Uh, whenever we visit and I don't know it's just like it feels very homey and um, I really recommend and the of course the food is delicious. And we're Afghan so we know kebabs and they have great kebabs. Um, number four on our list also in Jersey uh, Chai Chenek. It's in New Brunswick. Um, it's a fun eat. Um, yummy tea at the end of the um, date night and then so we also like going here because it's by our favorite um, comedy spot, Stress Factory. And so we grab dinner, and then right after that, we go um, um, to the comedy show. So it's like a nice area, and um, it's fun. So the remaining of my list is from New York. First one is Top Tide. Um, Delicious. Um, I think one of the, pun intended, top Thai's food I ever had um, was at Top Thai in New York, but then <laughs> yeah, so their their noodles are are great. Yeah, um, what do you what do I always get there? Um, their steak thing. Oh, their udon. Yeah, their steak udon. Um, it, it's it's just good. It's really good. And then the ambiance, everything fun. Um, second on our list is Goop Shrimp. Also in New York, also an Indian cuisine spot. Not everything is on on the menu is halal, FYI. Um, Their chicken and some of their beef. Some of their beef is, yeah. Yeah. Um, The waiter, waitress would also like let you know which one it is when you ask. Um, Also fun, fancy spots um, for great night, date nights. Um, Third on our list is quality meats. Also not known for their being a halal restaurant, but their steaks are, some of their steaks are halal. But you could also ask ahead which one are halal. So they carry uh, Creekstone. Um, so, you, you know, you could ask them which, which steak, but there's some of the top steaks there. Um, definitely a, a place that we would recommend having a steak. Uh, fourth on our list is Fatam Manu. We actually went there last weekend. Um, the vibes are amazing. They had live music when we went. Um, food was delicious. Their pizza, their steak, we loved it. And um, just really pretty restaurant in Brooklyn. And last on our list is Al Zotar. I think it's really popular in the Muslim community. Um, the you know, the little shawarma on your table. It's a fun experience. Also, again, uh, fancy ambiance and something we recommend. It's just a fun, fun place to go either, um, you know, with two people or a big group. Um, you know, it's fun to cut your own shawarma and and their apps are, are great. You know, I must say, uh, Minaz and Aman, I, I live in... New York, like I said, I live in Manhattan and my family is in New Jersey, so I spend a lot of time in both places. And we have bloggers from all over the country on our podcast. Um, But this is the first time that I have found that I've eaten at almost all the places on your list, not everyone. And they are all spot on. Like these are some of my favorite spots. Like Gup Shop is amazing. We eat there so much, right? Like Ozatar, we actually... Chai, around the corner from Chai Chinook, have you tried Jinsoy? 
which is the new Chinese restaurant by the same owners, right? Same owners, yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and Top Thai is like my go-to Thai spot. Now, there's two Top Thais in Manhattan, yeah. right? There's, there's one on Carmine and then there's the other one, right? So have you been to both locations? No, I think we've just been to Carmine. Yeah, that's the, the slightly more popular one. But I would recommend going to the other one as well because the menus are slightly different. So it's good to check them both out. Now, um, since you are both... Are you both Afghan? Both of your background is, is, is Afghan? Yeah, so I'm, my parents are both from Afghanistan and hers are, she's half Uzbek and half Afghan. Okay, very cool. So since I can get some like authentic advice, so, so one of my favorite, favorite restaurants, I would say of all time, right? Um, it was called Afghan Kebab House. And it was on... Uh, 8th Avenue between, uh, sorry, 9th Avenue between 50th, 51st in Manhattan. Has either of you ever been there? I don't think so. I haven't been there. Okay. They have another location on the Upper East Side on 2nd Avenue between 70th and 71st. Um, and then there's another Afghan place uh, on 8, uh, 9th Avenue as well called Ariana Kebab. Um what I'm looking for at some point, because I love Afghan food so much. Um, and when I go to these spots, which I love, I want to know how legit they are. Right? So, <laughs> so at some point, either the two of you or your entire extended families or someone need to go to the Afghan kebab house that's remaining and just tell me, is this, is this legit? Um, the ones you mentioned, I'm not familiar with, but I would suggest like maybe going to Patok. It's in Queens. That's legit. <laughs> but actually, one of the ones we mentioned, we we keep saying we need to bring our our family here. Um, you know, Hills of Herat. That I think that's something. And you know, our parents aren't big on going out and eating. They rather cook at home and eat. And that seems to be like. Sounds like old Muslim immigrant parents, yes. We, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it seems like that's the one that's legit enough for them to, you know, get a little bit different flavor than what's cooked yeah. at home, and it's legit enough for them to enjoy it. And then you know where else is a really good spot? Rova. Oh, yes. That's really good. That is next level. So Ravag, I first ate there in like 2000, 2001. And between then and now, I've probably eaten there a hundred something times. It is that, it is amazing. Yeah. And that place is good. Yeah. And it's like the setting and everything is really nice. Yeah. They moved, uh, they moved for the longest time. They were on like 31st between um, 5th and Madison. And now they're up further up on Madison. They moved like a few blocks away. And their their newer location is even nicer than the one before. It's like really done up nicely. It's very pretty. It's a great, great spot. Um, all right. Sounds like the the two of you and me and my wife and some friends should be hitting some spots in, in New York and New Jersey. Hills of Herat, I actually have not been. That is the one where I have um, multiple friends who've told me, you must go to Hills of Herat. Like, drop everything you're doing right now and just go uh, because it's that good. Uh, the the What is the dish that everyone keeps saying the tenderloin kebabs are... Yeah, so I might have to make a trip just for there, and it's been on my list for so long. Bridgewater is a little out of the way because my family lives in like the Princeton Hamilton area, so it's not like straight shot from Manhattan. But I've heard it is definitely worth the trip. So inshallah, I should be going there very soon. Yeah, Princeton. They have another. They just opened another location. I don't remember what town it's in, but there's two. So you might you might be able to find the other one that's a little bit closer to Princeton. I was going to say their chai and it's really good too. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> All right. Uh, the end. Uh, no, that's, that. I mean, I've heard, I've heard so much about them. So I will be making a trip, inshallah. All right, so moving on. So you two have built, you know, a pretty solid, uh, you know, community following in the New York, uh, New Jersey area. 
tell tell us you know how you've managed to build your audience over the last few years i mean i don't i don't even think it's you know we, it kind of just naturally grew into what it became i guess um for us it was more just enjoying the the food and taking pictures for memories and then you know she was just uploading it so it's not like we did much to you know attract people it was just more of just it's just for fun for fun and then it, you know people actually start we started getting invites and things like that um yeah. but yeah really it's, you know we like we enjoy the food we take the pictures throw it up there and then you know there's other people who enjoy it and you know we've had people tell us oh we went to this restaurant because you guys went there it looked good so it's kind of just like sharing that yeah i mean i will say uh you know when you're a blogger a food blogger and you're in the midst of it you don't really appreciate this but but People like the two of you serve a very important function in the community, right? You're the, the lot of people, uh, it's more than you even imagine, right? Look to the top halal food bloggers to say like, what are the spots I should eat? So even though you're enjoying it and you're eating very well, alhamdulillah, right? You <laughs> at these cool places, you're actually doing a, a, a great service to the community. And a lot of, you know, our audience really appreciates the things you do. Uh, because it's helpful. Uh, so along those lines, who are some other, you know, food bloggers, halal food bloggers, or just general bloggers that you admire, whose you know whose work you tend to check out? Because from what we've seen, it's a pretty tight community. Yeah. Um, first um, is actually Alon's college friend. His name is Abdullah, but his um, Instagram handle is NYC Foodster. He's. Um, he really inspired us and also, um, you know, he's really big in the halal food game scene. And so he's also recommending spots for us too. And another halal food blogger is the Halal Guide. Recently, they started giving awards to like our um, local restaurants and everything in New York, basically. So that's also somewhere I often look. So, you know, we, we talked about bloggers you admire. In general, at Halal Run, we're all about kind of Muslims supporting other Muslims and supporting the community, you know, in the food space because it's amazing how many people do what they do, whether they're running food businesses or blogging about food just for the love of the food and the community. Uh, but in general, we celebrate Muslims right from all lo- walks of life in the West, right, in North America and the UK, Europe, who are who are setting great examples. So who are a couple of, of Muslims in the West that, that each of you admire and, and, and uh, appreciate as, as kind of a model of the community and why? Um, my first, I would say, is Omar Sulaiman. Uh, not only is he so giving to the community, um, but like the lectures he provides and um, programs he provides to the community, it's I think it's really admirable and something I strive to do one day and like to continue to give back to my community. I guess for me, it'd be, you know, people like, um, like Riz Ahmed and uh, Hassan Minaj, whatever their politics are, things like that. Outside of that, I think it's important that Muslims get into different spheres in the West, you know, whether it be politics or media, um, just some, you know, it, we need to be represented in different ways. And I think, you know, those voices and seeing those people in, in Hollywood and, you know, in, in the news and representing politics, regardless of their views, it's, it's, it's moving the Muslim, you know, um, community forward in places where, you know, our immigrant parents don't really focus on, you know, either, you know, doctors, engineers, something, you know, where and these people are taking huge risks to bring the Muslim, you know, Muslim message and Muslim view and Muslim just you know image forward. Both great picks and and couldn't agree more. Well, uh, Aman Menaz, thank you so much for for joining us today. It's been awesome talking to you, and I'm sure our viewers will appreciate all the insights that you've had to add. Thank you for having us. Yeah, and we should uh, we should definitely hit some New York and New Jersey spots soon together, inshallah. For sure. Yeah. All be fun. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for joining us. 
Halal Run is the number one guide to halal eating options in the US, Canada, and the UK. You can find us at our website, halalrun.com, where we feature over 17,000 listings in over 2,500 cities. You can also find us on all our socials, where everywhere we are under at Halal Run. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more just like it. Until next time.